Let's proceed and now let me show you how you are able to set custom formatting for git log command. I mean formatting of the output. By default, you'll see this output in extended view, let's say, and with one line option, you'll see such output. But what if you want to adjust the results of this query? Actually, this query to git database that contains commits. And if you want to do so, you need to use pretty formatting. Let me clear terminal and here let's type git log dash dash pretty equal sign format colon and here in double quotes let's for example write percentage sign h like so closing double quotes and press enter and now in this output you'll see only complete sha1 hashes of all commits in history let's clear terminal and uh, go back to history like so and uh, right here also percentage sign cn let's press enter and now i see name of committer along with full sha1 hash of every commit and now you understand that uh, those percentage sign and uh, some letters are actual variables that uh, git replaces with actual data from commit and the cn stands for committer name and uh, capital H stands for full SHA-1 hash. You can also output shortened version of SHA-1 hash of every commit like so. Instead of capital H, simply write lowercase h and press enter. And now you'll see shortened version of SHA-1 hash of every commit. You can also add human readable words between those variables like uh, outer of commit column and here will be commit sha1 hash colon enter and now information about commits was formatted in such a way first comes out of commit for example even you and after that comes commit sha1 hash also you are able to add for example commit date let's add here date colon and write percentage sign commit date let me actually add here semicolons like so and semicolon here let's press enter and now I see another formatting. I see commit outer, short SHA-1 hash of commit and commit date. That's how you are able to use pretty formatting to adjust the view of results of git log command. That's all for this lecture and in the next one let me get back to merge commits and show you how you are able actually to filter out merge commits because merge commits are actually auto commits that were made automatically by git. Or if you want to view only merge commits, you are also able to do so. Let's write it in the next lecture. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.